Hello, my name is Data. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. These are the events that happened on my way to Deepwood Redout. I entered the dungeon, slowly started sneaking around, seeing if there were any enemies around. It seemed to be clear in this room, and I stumbled upon a chest. So I looked inside the chest, and I found ten gold. I then realized that I just got hit by a trap and lost some health and proceeded to open the gate. I walked through the gate, sneaking, moving slowly, wondering if there were any enemies to be found. And I saw that I just walked into a trap and arrows started shooting from the entryway. Not sure how I missed that one. I waited for the arrows to stop flying and I sneaked up the steps and I realized I should look around as there may be enemies around and alas there were I'm not sure that they see me yet but they saw me and they, as they started chasing me it was imperative that I shoot that guy in the knee so he will no longer be an adventurer and there were many more forsworns around pillagers I saw arrows whizzing by my head and decided maybe I should hide behind that stone pillar and pierce this guy into the wall. I noticed a couple more guys up on the bridge above. I loosened my arrows and missed on that shot. Arrows are still flying past my head, but I used my slow motion archery skill and took out another guy for sneak damage. One more was left on the bridge, and I hit him in the knee also, and saw his bow flying off the bridge. I decided to pull out my fire and ice bow that I'm using, and recharge it with some of the common soul gems that I've been carrying. I proceeded up through the foggy hallway, hoping there were no more enemies to be seen and I saw a bent candlestick I saw a door and a table full of stuff but I accidentally stepped on a ruin which exploded but didn't seem to do any damage but it blew all the loot across the room and I just spotted a couple more ruins on the floor decided not to take that ruined book looked at that broken table and pondered how I was going to get through here. Maybe if I could just sneak around it. But alas, no, that did not work and more explosions happened. I survived that and walked into the next room while setting off another sounding alarm and realized somebody else was in that room. I took another shot with my bow and missed. And the Forsworn Ravager, while she was dropping her spell, I plinked her with another arrow, got hit with an ice spike, and eliminated the enemies in that area. I saw a Forsworn missive, and I decided to read it. It was a message to Alaric. Well, that was a good read, and I decided to grab a Book of Daedra, and a legend of Red Eagle to add to my collection in the library. And off I went into the room, scoured it for any loot that there was, checked out that skeleton, and looked in the end table and decided not to take the charcoal and a clothes iron. I looked at this Forsworn Ravager, grabbed some chorus eggs, and the key to the next door. I found the door and instead of being a master lock it unlocked with the key so I slowly walked in wondering if there were any more traps. There were not. I saw some weird stuff in the corner decided not to take the oven sword and aha there's another trap I'm not gonna get hit by this one thought about it and decided to jump over the trigger. That worked. 
As I crossed the bridge, I looted the guys that were on there bef that I took down with the arrows. One was still stuck in his knee and decided not to take too much from them. A quick save happened. And as I slowly wandered up the steps, I saw another Forsworn Pillager hit him right in the crotch area. But that didn't seem to take him down. So I needed to use another arrow. As I walked up the steps, I decided to loot this room and grabbed another Madman of the Reach, a book, to add to my library. Ooh, there was an Arcturian Heresy. And the Darkest Darkness. I found the door to Deepwood Vale and entered. It was outside again. Grabbed some snowberries and decided maybe I should start sneaking. So I looked around. I didn't see any enemies as I was sneaking through. So I crouched my way down this little path. Looked around. Everything seemed to be clear. Boy, this is going to be easier than I thought. I hid behind this tree and then I saw a bunch of Forsworn running around on that bridge up ahead. Wasn't sure what I should do, so I jumped out from behind the tree, used my slow motion arrow skill, and took out another guy with two times sneak damage. That was a pretty good shot. It increased my sneak to 37. I see more red dots on the HUD up above, so I know there's enemies around. I just don't happen to see them yet. And then there was one running at me. Boy, she was getting close. So I had to take her out too. There's a couple more hiding somewhere. I saw one hiding in the corner. Not hiding anymore. And I jumped behind a rock and began to heal myself. Once the healing was done, I saw another Forsworn up on the ledge. And with an arrow, they were no longer standing on the ledge. I looted this one, but there was nothing worth taking. So I creeped my way across this bridge and immediately got detected. I started wondering, who saw me? Where are they at? As I was headed Towards the archway, I saw another Forsworn. He came charging at me. I hit him in the crotch area too, and increased my archery to 63. There was another one. They're going to throw some flames at me, but my isolation camera and skill of shooting took them out. I took some cheese off of the table and immediately got attacked by more Forsworn. They were surrounding me. That one was dual wielding, but alas, to no avail. So I checked out her tent. There was nothing in there. More Forsworn were jumping out. And then I saw a weak potion of frenzy and a minor stamina, so I grabbed it right before I got attacked by the Briarheart, the leader of the gang. The leader of the gang fell down to another arrow and I decided to loot him too took his heart and proceeded on I pulled out my fire and ice legendary bow that I created and decided now is a good time to throw some more common gems in there as I sneaked around towards the tower, I got jumped by another Forsworn, took a leg of goat and a potion of light feet, and decided to loot the tower. Alas, there was nothing of value in there. Just some skulls. And a goat's head. Nothing upstairs, except for a potion of healing and a petty soul gem. As I crossed the bridge, I happened to stumble upon another Forsworn that was not expecting me, and before she could pull out her bow, she fell to the floor, 
so I grabbed some more potions and a couple more books to add to my library. Nothing else of value until I found the chest, which had some gold and iron ingot, and I found my way into Hag's End. What a spooky name. Wonder where these hags are. All I see is a deer head hanging on the wall as a trophy. I looked at the beautiful waterfall and found the entrance. But nothing else seemed to be around. So I went into Hag's End. Decided this might be another good time to recharge my bow, but it still had a decent amount of charge left to it, so I didn't charge it up. As I entered Hag's End, I saw that there was a door and more stuff all over the table. Skulls and horns everywhere. So I grabbed a horker tusk and some bone meal for future recipes at the alchemy station. I proceeded through the iron door and immediately stumbled upon some witches that were eating dinner. And I decided instead of getting skewed by another piece of ice or a big flame of fire, I needed to handle the situation. So I plinked that one in the forehead and the fire from the bow, fire took her out. There was one more hiding in another room that came charging, and I eliminated her also. All the witches were down. This is a good time to loot another room. I checked out the witch, but she wasn't carrying anything of value. I decided to look at these empty barrels, but there was not much in there. But the sack, it had three carrots, so I took those. Looks like they were cooking dinner. Not much on that witch either. Oh, there's my old arrow back. I think I'll take it. There was some cutlery on the table. A charred skeever hide, which I grabbed. Saw some hagraven feathers and some snow pelts. Saber cat pelts and decided I don't need any more of those. As I found the chest, I grabbed 15 more gold and an amulet of Talos and immediately got hit with some, some more traps. Now is a good time to quick save. Waited for the traps to finish what they were doing, shooting flames, hitting me with the pillars, and I decided to jump over that trigger and make my way towards the next door. As I opened the door, I found three more witches doing some kind of cult experiments, but before they could see me, I started plinking them with my arrows. I hit the first one, missed the second, and as she came twice, and as she came charging, there was a massive fire explosion and ice and flame, ice and Frost were flying at me, but to no avail. I survived that. That one was carrying nothing important. I got hit with another fire spell, and even though I could barely see, I was able to hit the final witch. I have activated a lever, and the bridge opened up by falling down. I walked over, and I grabbed a potion of healing. I walked over the bridge, peered down, and saw where I was before, but that's not where I'm going. And another witch walked out from somewhere, maybe hiding in the wall. She will no longer be hiding in the wall. I found an, a locked master gate, so I decided this would be a good time to use the other items that I created. A necklace of thieves, and a ring of thieves, which will improve my skill for unlocking the most difficult of all locks. It increased my lock picking skills. That was a bonus. I decided to switch back to my other items. 
my disease immunity, a necklace of doom, and proceeded towards the chest slowly. I don't see any traps in this room. But I did see a coin purse, so I grabbed it. I opened the chest, grabbed another 18 gold and a potion, left the sword and immediately got hit by some fire flames jetting out of the dragon's mouths. Whew. Good thing I moved out of the way in time. I activated the handle, about to proceed forward when I noticed spears flying out of the wall. Good thing I didn't move forward too quickly. Waited for just a moment before I proceeded forward up the steps to make sure everything was clear and I walked into another room full of witches. That one's fire spell might have missed or it might have hit me for just a few points of damage. Another witch was about to cast a spell and then I saw the third hag raven and I plinked her in the forehead too. Now the room seemed clear. I saw another lever hanging on the wall, so I decided to walk over from behind and activated the chain which opened the door. I searched an urn, found three gold pieces. As I proceeded forward, I found a spell tome of flames, grabbed it and moved out of the way in case more traps were about to be set off, but none were set off. Searched another urn and got five more gold pieces. Boy, I'm going to be rich sooner than I think. I unlocked another master gate. Remembering to use my thieves ring and necklace. Proceeded to unlock the door, losing only several lock picks along the way. But eventually, it will open. Eventually, if I find the right spot, but alas, I lost many lock picks in this particular section, at least five or six or seven, maybe a dozen. You can see how carefully one has to and right before it unlocked, the lock pick broke. So I must not have been in the correct combination area. I finally found the correct one, unlocked the gate, increasing my lock picking skill to 47, getting a level up and finding out there was nothing behind that door. I'm gonna switch back to my ring of doom A necklace of disease immunity. I don't want to catch any diseases in this particular dungeon. Now would be a good time to quick save, just in case anything bad happened. I looked around for any more traps and triggers, but didn't see any, only some spikes. There was another barrel urn, an amethyst, and five gold pieces. Oh boy! As I proceeded into the next room, it seemed very clear, but I started hearing a familiar sound. Was that a trap? No, it sounds like where a dragon shout might be picked up. Alas, there it is. I wonder which one this could be. Oh boy, I found the word of power for time, slow time. That's a good one. I'm gonna keep it. I worked my way towards the, the veil and immediately as I exited the room, I got attacked. Some of those ice creatures and some kind of mysterious Hagraven witch who couldn't withstand one arrow and she was eliminated. Now is a good time to try my healing some more. So I started healing myself. I walked over to the ice pile, grabbed some essence and ice wraith teeth, and went over to investigate the main hag raven who was just standing out on this ledge. Was she carrying anything of value? Just some feathers. 
I looked around at the view and went back to whatever was going on at this table. I noticed a dagger. I took the Bloodthorn dagger and some more Hagraven feathers and a juniper berry. Walked over to the chest. It easily opened up and I took the shield, some gold, a couple spell tomes, and a potion. And this is exactly what the Jarl had sent me out to do, to find that shield. So I found it. I took it. And I decided, hmm, now would might be a good time to turn into a werewolf. I know that I need a couple more perks, one more perk to get the master werewolf achievement. So I decided, hey, this one looked like a good victim. So I did what any good werewolf would do. And I had some dinner. Walked over to this creepy thing on the table and did the same thing. At which point I realized, boy, I must be getting close to that final perk. And yes, I was. I had the final point to increase my perk. I got the totem of the moon. And with that, I got my achievement. Werewolf mastered. From that point, while on the ledge, I decided to fast travel directly back to Marthkarth. Or more specifically, under Stone Keep. I ran up to the Jarl. He was very happy to get his shield back. He told me I could be a Thane if I helped one more person as I've already helped four. So I walked over to Rarick, bought the home, bought all the furnishings for the home, and now I'm going to have an awesome house in Markarth. Fully stocked. First I went to the wrong door, went down the steps, and then I found the right place, Vlindral Hall. I went into Vlindral Hall, decided, hey, let's take a look around. What could possibly be in here? There's some nice flowers on the, in the entrance and a main room. Wow, this is nice. There's a loot on the table and holy cow, there was a sweet roll. A book called Chance's Folly and some shelves to store my books. There's an alchemy station with an entire room stocked. I couldn't have been any luckier. I walked over to the next room, saw a mannequin and a nice armory area where I can do some enchanting. Wow. And it came with an iron sword. That was pretty awesome. I walked back in through the rooms and found my bedroom well stocked and furnished and somebody even made the bed. Boy, that looks nice. I'm going to spend some wonderful sleeping nights there. I found where the, my companion's going to stay and realized there was a chopping block, but I couldn't use it. Hmm, curious. So I went back through the main dining area with food all over the table and a pie sitting there. I decided to leave Mark and enter Markarth and that is going to be the end of the adventure today. I made my way back outside and looked at the pretty view and all the mountains. So for Markarth, I bid you farewell and we'll see you in the next adventure. Have a great day. Bye-bye.